Ben Brown, and he writes, does your excitement or fanboyism sometimes affect your rating of a movie? I can honestly <laughs> say no, but the reason I can say no is because it used to, and it used to in the harshest, most horrible way possible. I gave all of the Star Wars prequel movies positive reviews <laughs> when they came out because I lied to myself, I drank the Kool-Aid, and it took a process of years for me to watch them more and more. I saw The Fan Menace in theaters 18 times. 18 I did not, times. I did not break 10. Uh, the reason, but the only reason it was 18 was because I was also, I was a producer at a visual effects company at the time. And like whenever lunch break would come around, we were like five minutes from a theater, we'd be like, Want to go do some research? And we would go and watch The Phantom Menace because the visual <laughs> effects at the time were the most mind-blowing effects you've ever seen. And then the next one came out. And the next one was just a little bit less egregious than The Phantom Menace. So I thought, oh, this one was good. And then Revenge of the Sith came out, which was a little bit better than the previous one. So I'm like, oh, this one is good. It took me years of rehab and counseling to <laughs> finally come to the harsh realization, man, these movies suck. Misa, so sad. <laughs> 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 so, so I learned a harsh and valuable lesson. No matter my fandom, no matter my geekness, whatever, take my expectations, no matter how geeked them high or fandom low, and leave them at the door before I go into the theater and then just judge that movie on its own merits because I learned a harsh and terrible lesson that I still bear the scars of <laughs> today. Anyway, see, what about you? Do you find your anticipation kind of sometimes skews your perception of a movie? Uh, that's a good question. I think sometimes... When you're in the theater and you're with a lot of people and the energy is there, it can sometimes add maybe a letter grade. Like if you think yeah. it's a B, you can get to an A. You know, if it's a C, you can sometimes give it a B. Um, but I think that a bad movie is a bad movie and a good movie is like, I think that I've gotten to the point where I can see through it, but I will definitely admit there can be a 10% thing due to the audience you're with. I mean, I, like, look, there's going to be a moment where I go, it doesn't matter how good Batman versus Superman is, is, the first moment, like if the first 20 minutes of that movie suck, the first moment we see Batman and Superman on screen together, I'm going to cry like a schoolgirl. I am going to completely <laughs> lose it and just be so happy and nothing else will matter. <laughs> then I'll have to reel it back in and do myself. Anyway, Chef, what, about, what about your fandom? Does that affect you, do you think? Uh, sometimes it does. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, when I saw Phantom Menace uh, for the first time, I stood in line with everybody. I saw it at the Grommans. And I remember about 25 minutes in, I started looking at my seat and I said, I can't believe I'm bored at a Star Wars movie. Mm. And I came out and hated it. And I was greeted with, you know, other people who loved it. So it was a kind of an argument because I just was like, you I, bumped into me. I you bumped I, into me. <laughs> no, but I, I totally understand that because it's like, it's such a thing that's ingrained in you. And I think that, uh, you know, that does happen with a lot of big event films, especially ones that I'm really excited for. I agree with, with what Steven said. It's like it, it, your excitement of the film, right? When you come out, it could be like heightened to like maybe a five or 10 plus point like a uh, way out, way in type of thing. But uh, over the years, I've tried to go in and lower my expectations, especially for giant, big blockbuster films. So that way, if it sucks, I won't be super bummed. And if it's incredibly awesome, I'll be really excited. I'd like try to have that medium level. For me so far, of all the films that I've seen in advance and whatnot, I can definitely say Fury Road was is the high point of any film I've seen so far, as far as like meeting expectations, meeting lowered expectations, and blowing me away. 